Hey there friends, Nibs again, out here in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around, and we're starting to get into the uh, the chilly evenings, and uh, it's got me in the mood to do some head-to-head uh, -head challenges out here in the garage, and uh, I got a couple of real cool ones to show you guys uh, for a head-to-head -head challenge today. Uh, the first one is one that I picked up, uh, I don't know, a few months ago at the... Uh, springtime uh, air uh, not air gun but the springtime uh, Syracuse gun show and this one is a Falk model 50 no no actually I bought this off of eBay no I, I, I didn't get this one from the gun show uh, this one came from from eBay but uh, it, it did get it in the springtime but this one's pretty cool it's a Falk model 50 F A L K E and uh, it is pretty cool so I was actually thinking about this, doing this head-to-head -head challenge, and uh, when I got to looking at these two guns, uh, they are very, very close. Uh, a lot of similarities. Few pieces look like they may have been made in the same factory. I don't know. If anybody knows, uh, let me know. But uh, this is uh, one that was sent over to me by a fellow named Keenan. Asked me to take a look at it for him and see if I could get it running for him again. And uh, this one is a very early Diana model 23. Best I can date this one. This one was made sometime between 1951 and 1965. The Falk company was only in business for a couple years, like in the early 50s. So uh, I'm not sure if they were sharing parts from uh, like a subcontractor or something at some point. But uh, this rear sight on this... Uh, that's pretty loose. I have to check that. The uh, cocking arm bolt, <laughs> but the uh, the front front or the rear uh, sight is almost identical. The trigger looks identical. The uh, the actually the stock is pretty much identical. The only thing that I can really see that's different is this cross bolt. Uh, going across here holding the trigger in uh, is a different setup on the Falk than it is on the Diana. But uh, we're going to go ahead, we'll shoot the Diana first uh, because it is the newer comer to the garage. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be using these RWS basics. Uh, they r really seem to be shooting good in both of these guns. And uh, let's go ahead and get at it. So. Uh, Neither one of them are <laughs> powerhouses by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I was able to find a leather seal that worked in this one. And uh, it's doing a pretty good job. Enough to go through a soda can. That's all you can really ask for with one of these guys. All right, that's a good shot. So, leather seal was a uh, intended to be a pump seal for a uh, a multi pump gun, uh, but it was a 23 millimeter, and I was able to make it work in there. It's working really well. And it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Four. I think that was another ten. <laughs> Maybe I should have put some smaller targets out for these guys. All right, last one for the Diana. All right, very nice, very nice. So, I'll be packing that one back up and send it over to Keenan real soon. So the, this one cocks just about the same, the, almost no effort it needed at all. This one also has a leather breech seal down inside here. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I didn't know better, I would think that these guns were made in the same 
I mean, I don't know better, but pretty sure these guns were probably made in the same place. So this one does sound like it's got a little bit more pop to it. At least the, uh, but that, that leather seal that I put in there is nowhere near broken in yet. So, uh, it's going to take a while for that to break in and let that. action work uh, that's looking pretty good too <laughs> the Diana feels like it's got just the tiniest bit better lighter trigger maybe it's just got a lighter trigger spring so that was three shots I can't tell if it's, those are all tens Four. One more. And that's five. That's that's gonna be a tough one to score up there, but uh, I'll grab that target. I'll add those up, and I'll be right back. To you. This is gonna be a quick one. Stand by. I am back and uh, that was very respectable by both of them uh, the Diana actually had three tens and two nines uh, for a very respectable 48 but uh, the Falk I was able to put all all five pellets into the ten ring so the Falk gets the the win this time I guess I should have uh, I guess I should have put up some smaller targets <laughs> so but uh, there's the uh, there's the Fock and there is the Diana. So, um, very, very similar, uh, <laughs> if not identical, uh, guns, few different fasteners, uh, looks like even the same barrel and breech block. The, the, uh, sight, the rear sight is definitely the same exact piece for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a little step right there in the in the Falk where the Diana is just a smooth tube all the way back. So I guess they're not 100% perfect, but <laughs> pretty darn close. So anyway, there you go. Really cool. A little quick little head-to-head -head for you guys. Uh, you guys know I love these little uh, <clears throat> youth-sized brake barrels. i got a few others up here. I've got a Hanel right here from the 1920s. I've got a Diana right here that was made in the 1980s. So that's pretty cool. I've got a few others over there as well. Uh, youth and adult size uh, springers that are very mild mannered shooting. A lot of fun to shoot in the garage here. So, but uh, Falk takes a win. <laughs> I think uh, I put, I think I put the Falk up against the Hanel and uh, it actually, the Falk won as well. So uh, it's a shooting little gun. <laughs> but uh, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, have a great day.